guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a really, really soft look. Um, I kind of started off camera because I wasn't gonna record it because I wouldn't listen to music and I can't listen to music and record at the same time. So somebody had to give. So the music stops. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna well record now. So today we're gonna do a really soft look. I really don't have any like direction. I'm just going with the flow. I already did my eyebrows off camera. I just started my eyeshadow. I'm using the Jaclyn Hair Palette. Um. I'm just doing something really soft. Probably gonna do neutrals like browns. I really love neutral colors. So that's what we're doing. So now I'm going in with this. Um, what color is this? They have the colors on the back. I think this buns that I'm using. I'm gonna show you guys one second. This is the color that I'm using. Wait, is this one? Okay. It's this one that I'm using in my crease area. So like I said, I'm taking this, um, this is my favorite brush. This is a, a, a really good blending brush I got from Amazon. I think, I'm, I think I bought the whole set off Amazon for like $11. It's really good set. So like I said, I'm just going to do something really soft. I know some of y'all saw my hair on social media like, did you take your hair down? Yes, I took my hair down. I did my hair. And like these crochet braids, these crochet braids I uh, saw on YouTube. I love the I love the hairstyle to death. Like it's so pretty. But <laughs> the reason I took my hair down is because the foundation wasn't good. Like I braided my own hair, and I'm not, I'm not the best braided. I braided my own hair. I'm not the best braider. So the braids was jacked. Like jacked. Jack, Jack. So the braids start coming out. So I took them out because I didn't feel conf I didn't feel confident in them with the hairstyle. It looked good. The braids itself looked good, but my hair looked terrible. So I took them down. I know everybody like it looked cute, but you didn't see it up close. Like it looked terrible. Like terrible. Terrible. And I can't walk around like that. I didn't want to walk around like that. So I took my hair down. So what I decided is to stop being stubborn. Stubborn. And just go to a shop or somewhere. And have somebody just braid my hair for me. Because that's what that was the problem was. I was going to just go to the Africans and let them braid my hair for me. But I'm like, I want to do it myself. I want to be a self sufficient. I'm going to do it myself. So I literally stayed up all Saturday night doing my hair. I didn't go to bed until almost like 4 o'clock. Only because I decided once I got done with my hair, I decided to be an adult and do my makeup too. Because I'm like, oh, okay, now I still have this energy. So now I'm going to do my makeup too. So I literally didn't go to bed until almost 4 o'clock in the morning. And I was tired all yesterday, but I still made it through. I didn't even take a nap yesterday. I didn't have any coffee. I didn't do anything, but I was tired. And I don't really do anything yesterday. I think I'm just gonna um, do my whole lid this color. Cause like I said, I just wanna do something really soft. We are gonna be doing the first impression of the Fit Me Foundation. I never had this foundation before and I'm dying. The Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline. It's in the color 355 Coconut. And the reason I decided to do that because I've been using the Super Stay Foundation by Maybelline also, the 24 hour. And I think it's the wrong color. So I decided, okay, if this is the wrong color, let me just try the color down from this in this 355. I was gonna get the exact same one in 355, but I wanted to save some money. Cause this is like $12 at Walgreens. And this one is like, Eight forty nine at Walgreens, so trying to save a few dollars. So that's what I did. But I was gonna try to go to Alta too, but I might wait another day for Alta. Alta ain't going nowhere. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. Something really slight. I really love neutrals, and you know, the seasons are changing, so it's time for neutral colors anyway. I love fall. I'm dreading winter. I hate the cold. 
you're no worse than getting up at your man in the morning and it's freezing and you gotta go outside in that cold. So we're gonna blend all these eyeshadows out. It's a good Monday. I know y'all, why you ain't at work? I'm not at work today. I have some pregnant business to take care of. I'm glad I get to take care of my business in the morning. Now it's in the afternoon, it's about two, a little bit after two. My baby's also at work at daycare. We picked them up at five o'clock. So we still have time to do this. And my husband turned our salon into my filming slash makeup room. So that's what we are today. We moved. I used to be in my dining room. We turned my dining room into my kids like player slash TV area. You know, like people, are you doing that? Because we we don't use it for anything. Like we have my table in uh, my dining room table. We just moved our dining room table to my living room. Like last year, I think we had like a car party with our friends and family or whatever. And we never put it back in there. So it's literally been sitting here since then. So we're just going to turn that area into the kids area. And let them have a space. And we all have a space. So yeah, I like the way they came out. I love browns. I should have put a little orange in it, but I bought a lot of stuff off ColourPop on what day was that? On yeah, so that's all we're gonna do. Something slight. So now I'm gonna do my lashes. I know. Let me go back. So a lot. Of, I bought a lot of stuff off ColourPop. Friday and I'm waiting for that so when I get that I'm gonna do a haul like everything I got from Colourpop and everything like that but I was like how come my stuff haven't shipped yet and I went on Colourpop website and they said because it takes three to five business day for them to ship stuff out to you and not counting not counting the weekends not counting the weekend so that's what it was and I bought it on Thursday so only that they had was Friday so I guess today and tomorrow so be shipping out on Wednesday I hope I hope it'll be shipping out on Wednesday yeah because I was like how come I haven't received anything from Colorado like did my order not go through I ain't had no money I used my husband card so I'm like what is going on so I just went on that way to see what's going on so right now I'm doing my lashes this is just my art my reusable Audrey lashes. I think these are the natural ones. I bought me some lashes too from Amazon. Well, I was trying to get them from from um, AliExpress. AliExpress, they don't want me to buy nothing from them because they will not let me buy anything. Okay. We're going to prime my face. Let's see what This is uh, the Elf Face Primer, the one I always use. I always I already moisturize my face with my cocoa butter, and I put on the Nivea Soft. I use this to moisturize my face, too. The way to get good makeup, you take care of your skin first. Make sure it's moisturized and all that good stuff. Yeah. Good. Huh? I ain't no laugh. Yeah, you too. Mm-hmm. You can edit this out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I might leave you in that one. What's on this light too? Like 
Isn't this the finest man of them all? Ain't nothing like that. I like your setup. <laughs> I do. I do. I like your setup. And I'm pretty sure you're going to make it how you like it. Make what how I like it? The whole area, the whole space. Yeah. So I'm using the LA Pro Boy Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze to do the top of my brows. It's easy to um, blend in with my skin color. It's hard to do stuff on your left side when you right handed until it comes like second nature to you. You'll get the hang of it. When you right handed, you understand what I'm saying. My boys are left handed. Both of my sons are left handed. I'm gonna blend that concealer out first and use mine. Flat brush. Singing in my head. If you me moving, that's me singing in my head. So, me and Christian fell in love with this movie called The Greatest Show. It then came out, but we just now discovered it and we are obsessed with it. We have seen it about seven times since Saturday. <laughs> and when I got him from his grandma, he'll say, he like, Mom, can we go home and watch it? I said, yeah. But it was late, and every time him to go to bed and me, because as I told you, I was up all Saturday. So we went to bed. But we're going to watch it today. It's the best movie in the world. But if you're not into, like, musicals and stuff like that you might don't like it but i always been into musicals and stuff like that i was dying to be on glee i never really got into high school musical though i don't care for it i don't watch it i have never watched it couldn't get into it but color correct with the um uh, black radiance color corrector this is the color orange i color correct under my eyes because i have a lot of um darkness around my eyes I put a lot on my side I'm gonna go some light over here a lot of darkness around my eyes and I put it on my nose did I just put it like right here where my mouth? I feel like I got a lot of darkness around. I don't put it on my forehead. That's most like under my eyes around my mouth. That's it. And I'm gonna blend it out. I'm literally starving and I ate. I don't know what's going on.
We're gonna blend it out. You still gonna see the orange, but we're gonna put concealer on, then I'm gonna put the foundation on. I love how my skin looks when I put it on though. So you see, like people always see the difference of color correcting. It's not for everybody. Everybody don't need the color correct. But if you want to, you can. I think I'm gonna use, use the same color I used to do my bottom brows to, not fun, but warm honey. To conceal with. This is warm honey, the same LA girl pro. Honey, I need to get some more. I was like literally just buying random, random um, concealers when I started first doing my makeup. So I only really been doing makeup for about, I didn't really get into it about last year, like last December. I think so. Yeah, I think around last December, I really like started getting into it. I've been watching videos for years, and then one day I was just like, I want to see if I can do it myself. That's literally how, how it goes. And this has helped, and I just, we've been learning and growing ever since then. I just told Andre yesterday, I don't know why I decided to go natural and learn how to do makeup at the same time. Because I went natural in November of 17. I, I did the big chop. So I've been natural about... 10 months? Almost 10? Wait, what's today? Be yeah, about 10 months. Wait. Yeah, 10 months. And that's in the whole, and that's a whole different situation there, so. I want to perm. I just said yesterday I want to perm my hair. And then that was hard. They don't tell you how hard it is. I think it's only, like, you watch the videos and watch how the other girls take it and you're like, oh, I could do that. Then you try to be on your head, it never works out that way. Never. Because, I don't know. It just never does. You got to learn how to take care of yourself. And it's hard. <laughs> it's really hard. For me, anyway. It might be easy for you. It's hard for me. Especially after you go from getting permanent your whole life to trying to be natural. So we're gonna take this foundation. This is the color. Oh, it oxidized. Which one is this? This is normal to dry. I should've got dewy. I should've got the dewy one. Okay. Oh, no, I got the right one. It's for normal for dry skin. Okay, I got the right one. I was about to say, y'all, this is gonna be the wrong one for me. I got the right one. Take a little bit on the back of my hand. We're gonna see how this works out. It said it oxidizes. I've tried it on my chest though when I was in the store. Oh my god, I was on the yesterday in the store. I don't know why I tried to get Andre to help me. He like, I don't know what it's supposed to look like. They all look the same. <laughs> no, they don't. He like, yes they do. I'm like, oh god. It's literally different, three different foundations on my arm. What's that? This will be over. We're gonna take one of these pins and wipes. We're gonna wipe our hand. We don't matter about that. We can use the foundation to call it up. Then we're gonna put the foundation on a clean hand. It doesn't have a pump, but I'm glad it's not hard to, to get out because that have been a whole different situation. School is getting out. School, school, school is getting out. School, school, school. School go fast as hell. But when you in school, Jesus Christ. 2.30 becomes so quick. It's like as soon as you drop your kids off, it's time to go pick them right back up.
I don't know, y'all. I don't think I'm liking it. So I guess it's a buildable foundation. Cause as you can see, like every time I take a stroke, it's like I can see my skin. And I don't like that. So I got this buildable. I like it. I wanna see how it looks when it dries down. But this is just 355. Maybe I'll have to make mix those two together and get the perfect shade. But I shade match it to my chest in the store. Okay. Now I got it to look the way I want it to look. We're gonna put the top back on the foundation. Again, this is a 355 fit me. We're gonna take some Casillas. So we're gonna use. I'm gonna use the Smashbox 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer in the color dark. Now this foundation is bomb. I got this from my Ipsy bag. This foundation is bomb. But it's like, how much is it? I think it's like $25 just for this. This is $25. So I really pick and choose when I use it. And it smells good too. I like the way it smells. It's just like so. I paid $27 for that, uh, for the top shape. And I pick and choose when I use that too. In 10 sand? Oh baby. Cause I'm gonna get every buck out of that. So I use it like, you know, I'm really trying to be famous. But it's bigger than this one. Let me show you. See, this is top shape. Top shape at least give you a nice look. This is how many ounces it is? Four ounces is this, let me see. This is 338.81 fluid ounces. This is 0 0.8 fluid ounces. So you get way more top shape. This is my favorite part of makeup is doing this. I like my face just, I don't know. I just love my face like this. Now we're going to take a wet blender and we're going to bend, I got to go wet, but we're going to blend all that facility at one second. And if you feel like it's sweat, just wring it out a little bit. Why I'm patting it like I'm scared. The reason you put it in it, because it's just a highlight. I like the way they look already. It's pretty. And I like how this is considered just blends in with your skin so well. So pretty. I can see why it's $25. Well worth it. Now we're going to take a little bit of set our face with our powder first before we do that one contour my face with the um with the is so me ray ray palette i know i love this palette i don't want to use that eyeshadow though i don't know why i even have a brush i use her brushes but i don't want to use the eyeshadow like that i don't like the eyeshadow for some reason but i love everything else i do like the eyeshadow just just don't use it i don't know why but we're gonna do use the contour shade brownie bay 
to contour with it. I'm just going to go ahead and put that brush on there. So I don't contour my nose because I'm not good at it. And I don't need my nose so small. I like my nose the way it is. I don't contour my nose like that. So we're going to take our powder, our um, CoverGirl loose, uh, translucent powder in the color medium, 115. That's a good powder. I love this powder. Well, I bought a new powder with the ColourPop, and I'm dying to see how that works. I can't wait to get that one. I can't wait to get that translucent powder so I can see how it works. I'm going to take one of these brushes and dip it. Tap it, dip a little dip and tap. We need a lot. I'm just gonna go right there under our eyes like this. Dip and tap, girl. Dip and tap. So everywhere you put concealer, you're gonna put powder. You gotta follow every wet product with a dry product. This powder is pretty messy, but it's okay. And I got the fan on, so look at that. Dip and tap. I creased it around my mouth, so I'll put powder around right my mouth. So we're gonna talk. We're gonna um, do the same thing with our. So you get them harsh lines out of that. That stuff never works out for me. So while that's setting and getting this bit and getting the job done, I'm first gonna put a little bit of eyeliner on my bottom. So y'all the excess pad off me. I told y'all my eyes are very sensitive. I'm surprised they didn't start watering. It's like something in it. We're gonna just take a brush. This is what Issy Berry brush. Like where all that pattern. I'm gonna take my face brush, my real tightness brush. I'm gonna start buffing that. Work the up, not down. This really just bring color back in your skin after putting all that powder and stuff on you. I don't do this every time I do my makeup because it's not necessary. I like the way it looks though. I said it to you, I like the way it looks. That's really hard to do this at. Like I'm making my body do something that's not supposed to. In my hand. <laughs>
Y'all just want me to forget about my chin. So my plan was to take a makeup class to learn how to do makeup better. So when I had to want to pay for the class, I get on Eventbrite, and the class that I was about to pay for that was close to my house, literally up the street from my house, it's no longer on there. So I'm like, it gotta be a trick. So I leave and come back. It wasn't a trick. It's so hard to find classes and courses and stuff to teach you how to do that stuff. Cause I really love it, but I feel like, and people ask me all the time, like, when are you going to start doing other people? But I feel like if I was able to go to a class and learn how to do, like, like, for example, I still struggle with my eyebrows a little bit. If I'm struggling with my eyebrows, I'm definitely going to struggle with your eyebrows. So I feel like if I go to a class, I better, like, get some type of structure. I'm just using the L'Oreal Paris Valueless Mascara under my my bottom lash I struggle with this too. My lash, my eyes don't like stuff. I just put a little bit on and I get out of there. I'm about to get you off. Yeah. So next we're gonna go in with I think I wanna do some blush. I'm gonna use this blush that I got as a sample in my Etsy bag because it's dark and I thought it was pretty. But I was getting ready to throw it away, then I picked it Oh, that's pretty. So I got saved by the bed. Just this little blush. What color is this? Shamalon. 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 Just a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit. I didn't want a lot. Yeah. I think we're going to do my lips. What color are we doing with our lips? We did a nude. All right, so we can actually go bold with our lips. So what we want to do? I might do this purple. I got this NYX purple. I don't know how to pronounce that word, y'all. We're going to do this. We'll see how this looks. This is just a lip liner I bought off Amazon. I bought a couple lip liners off Amazon. This actually came with its own lip liner. I just thought about it. But next up. Yeah, because I got, yeah, I did. But I like this one's pretty. If the cake ain't gonna stay, I'll stretch this off out. And I also try with putting on lipstick. Like sometimes when I'm done with my um makeup and I'm done with the last thing, I'm like, okay. I know that you can't put a bright lip with a bold lip, but sometimes you can. It depends on what you're doing. You make it look good. But if you knew, like me, don't do it. I 
that's pretty. I like that. Can work with that. What else I need to do? We're gonna forget something. Oh. My powder. What is my powder? Y'all. This is my LA Pro Girls press powder. So you just take this with the, and just go over my makeup with it. I don't put a lot. Stop you from sweating and stuff like that. That don't stop you from sweating. Just hold your makeup in place. makeup in place so now we're gonna do the highlighter in my face I actually got this is my favorite highlighter French toast is my favorite highlighter but I just bought these two new highlighters from Wet n Wild um I'll, this one is they got different names no they don't but this one was gold. This one is pink. I wore the gold one. I don't really like it too much. I didn't really like it too much. I think I'm gonna try this pink one, but I'm obsessed with French toast. Obsessed. But let's try something new. We're trying something new today. I usually take my, I use this one for highlighting. I'm just gonna dab that on my cheek. I like how subtle it is. Cause I think one time I had put too much of them toast on and I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Yeah, my son just called me, I'm sorry. Slight intimation. in a corner just a little bit little brother little brother Last but not least, we're gonna take our Elf 
setting spray. We also could use your um, Mary My D setting spray too. Girl. I'll use this. Join yourself in it. You do not put enough if you feel like you haven't drowned. Let that set on your face. So that's our finished look. Okay, you guys, to conclude this look in this video, thank you for watching. So this also is a wear test video. I'm going to wear this uh, makeup all day and come back and tell you how it um, held up. It's about 317. I'm going to go pick up my son from that school program. He says he's not feeling well, so I'm going to pick him up and continue to wear this look all day. And I will come back before I go to bed to tell you how this foundation hold up and all this held up today. Um, Yeah, so thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. If you want to see me do anything else, all you have to do is comment. I read the comments. Um, Just let me know what you guys want to see on my page. I'll be happy to oblige. Oh, uh, yeah. So on um, my next video, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a haul from your ColourPop. So that's definitely going to be my next video. So yeah, I'm going to look forward to doing that because it's going to be the first haul. Yay, it's my first haul. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, like I said, and see you in my next video. Bye. Welcome back, you guys. So, I'm just checking in. So, I think when I last filmed, it was like 3. I know I told you guys I'm going to do a wet test. It's only 8.05. But, I didn't really do anything today. I didn't even go anywhere. But, it's been about 5 hours and I still look fantastic. I haven't touched up anything. I haven't done anything. I did go outside for a few, like about an hour. And it was really hot today. It was like 80, 89 degrees That's hot. Was hot. Did this makeup doesn't feel heavy? I don't feel heavy. I don't feel overwhelmed. It did hold a well, so I'm definitely gonna keep using the Fit Me Foundation. This was fantastic. This was fantastic. It does blend with my skin. I think a little bit better than it, um than my Maybelline 360. Yeah. So this is a definite green light. I love this look. Hold up all day. I haven't touched. I'm telling you, I haven't touched myself at all. Only my hair, cause I was ready to take it out that bun. But yeah. I highly recommend you get it. It's only like $8, $9 at um, Walgreens. Um, yeah, so this is my wear test. I'm sorry I couldn't wait longer. I know I was just going to do a complete wear test, but I'm tired now, y'all. I want to take this makeup off. Usually when I do my makeup, I take, I do it, take a thousand pictures. I see what I need to improve on, then I take it off. So this was different today because I want to do this for you guys. But yeah, I think I look fantastic. I feel good. I feel confident in this look, so I'm probably going to do it again. Yeah, so hope you got helped you guys. I helped myself. I really did. Like, it's my first time doing a wear test on any type of foundation. So it's our first together. We broke our we broke our chairs together. So yeah. So yeah. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient with me.